<laughs> right. Chaos. Oh, that's not so bad, is it? Even TV and... Oh, Yogi, I played him before. He's got Mighty Blow and Agility. <laughs> Mighty Blow, Agility and Block. He's got My Faggers and... Uh, he's going against... <laughs> Claw Mighty Blow, Block Guard, and Wrestle Strip and Block. So, yeah, it, uh, the team looks pretty TV efficient there, doesn't it? But, yeah, it's a, that's a lot of bad results there, isn't it? Already three draws and a, three, three draws and a loss already is, means I've got to go on about a 20 win streak to equal uh, <laughs> to, to equal the top Skaven from last season. But then other seasons, Skaven have, have qualified with, a, with, with pretty poor records. So you never really know what's gonna, you never really know what's gonna happen, do you? With uh, the way it shakes out at the top of the ladder, you wouldn't have thought, ever thought that the top Nova would have been thirty-three-three, would you? So, um, you know, who knows? Yeah, Hunter, I was, uh, I was, I was reminded that I hadn't run ads, so I thought I'll make up for lost time with uh, some extended, some extended adverts there. <laughs> I think I'll receive and just score as fast as possible and try to turn them over and win like four nights. I don't know, I think I'll keep them anyway throughout the season, just as a, as a stress relief team. I think I want to win like three or four, well, win the rest, next three today. If I don't win every game today, then I'll, I'll start up a pro elf team. <laughs> Maybe. Something like this. Yeah, going to Inarian this one. Going to go for the fucking Inarian. Inarian route to victory here. I was going to blitz with my rot ogre. And then I forgot that I couldn't. Yeah, what a difference this this from eight guard. <laughs> Though I was five hundred TV down against the eight, eight guard. Yeah, this playoffs is uh, it is looks really good. Yeah, really good by two K. Every time you've got a two K elf team, it looks pretty fucking good, doesn't it? Let's be honest. Uh, yeah, they're still good. They're still elves. It's just that they're a bit. Yeah, they're not wood elves, basically. It's not what else is the, is the thing. It's got block. That was stupid of me putting the claw mate blow against the block guy. All I can roll a ball down. <laughs> Maybe not go for the 4 0 now, eh? I don't even want to blitz now. It's been such a fuck up. Disaster. I haven't done Kemri. I also don't want to do Kemri. Maybe I'll do them one season as a backup, but um, you know, not as a primary. It's, it's a, you know, I said it was crap, but it wasn't really crap. It was greedy, wasn't it? But it was accidental greed. Like, it was certainly valid to go for a 55% knockdown to get rid of his one block guy. But I didn't do it on purpose, which is what made it bad. If I'd thought about it, I would have totally gone for Claw on, you know, for the 75% knockdown with Claw. Maybe. 
So it was a mistake for me, but it would be a valid choice for someone else. But um, I just didn't think about it. So it was bad. Yeah, I've played ogres, I've played dwarves. Can we? I would have them as a backup. Why not? You know, I want to play all the different races because I'm a streamer, I still talk. That's the thing. If I wasn't streaming and all I was trying to do was qualify and win 500 euros, I guess I would be in Arium and just only use Wood Elves because why would you use anything except Wood Elves if all you were trying to do was qualify and win the money? But <laughs> I want to have I want to have a bit of variety with me and just, you know, different different games. I don't like using the strain. I don't like using the same team all the time, you know. Like Chaos Chaos are kind of uh, Chaos are kind of fun. I like using Chaos, so using Chaos would be a, all the time would be all right. Yeah, low TV Chaos is the best possible matchup. That's true, <laughs> even though even though uh, all I've done so far is use a reroll for no effect. Yeah, exactly. Ben, I'm sorry for that. Switched up and played Chaos and Dark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, the thing is, though, you would be a bit stupid then, Astro Tor, because you, there's only one Chorf spot. Um, whereas there are two Wood Elf spots. Um, <laughs> Get demoted on Anya. <laughs> Thanks, Johnny Five. <laughs> Um, right. Um, there's only one chaff spot, yeah. There's only one chaff spot, isn't there? Um, because Crucifer has one. Every season. Guaranteed. There's Crucifer and another. Crucifer and plus one, isn't it? That's what it is. So, you know. <laughs> every season, literally every season, there is Crucifer and somebody else. Ah, yeah, that's good, Johnny. <laughs> right, so two dice without a block of the ball carrier seems shit. The only other options are dodges or not blitzing. So I guess not blitzing looks good. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, GFI, GFI. So here is safe. I'm getting blitzed as much as anything is. Um, one dice here. So I can one dice there. Okay. Rogue was sacked, Tony, because I was sick of it. <laughs> well, no, it's because the team looked crap. The record was crap. So I thought, you know, um, you know, I thought let's go with let's go with making the team more TV efficient. Yeah, he does. Christopher deserves a lot of respect. I think the way he just grinds it every every single season. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's something like that. Oh man. <laughs> don't think <that. laughs> Oh dear. I'm getting banged on here, aren't I? Claw Mighty Blow not doing anything. And Block not doing much. 
But I mean, the real the real strength is when it comes to turning them over, isn't it? Which now I can run forward this turn, uh, thanks to him leaving a bit of a gap here. So I can get in scoring range now. And score and then put him on offense where he's going to struggle more, isn't he? Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's get there. That's actually perfect as well, isn't it? Four squares in. No GFIs required. Dodge out, do anything there? No. Does the stand up do anything? No. Well, I mean, stand up, yeah, it gives a block away, but it gets in the way a bit. So, scoring four is all right without rolling any dice, if I can. There you go. Given, given where the block's actually all right, isn't it? Because he's, he hasn't got many rerolls and doesn't have any blocks. So, although he's armor seven getting blocked um, and gets cast. So, there you go. For fuck's sake, Tony, stop being shit. I thought uh, he's dead as well. I thought uh, I thought that was worth, you know, him maybe taking a reroll off. Mm. For fuck's sake, Tony! Stop being shit. <laughs> <laughs> Break over team, not good enough, really, Martin. Uh, it is it is seven three one, which is uh, it might be good enough if I like win twenty in a row. <laughs> I think I'll keep them, but. No, I think I think I think minus movement's enough to be a reserve actually. <sighs> no, it was a one-one draw, Carl Ancelotti. Yeah, I fucked up the one turn because I got a quick snap. <laughs> it was gonna be a hard one anyway, you know. And as it happened, the dice that I rolled were a power and a bulk down, which I re-rolled into double skulls, so you know. But I did fuck it up. Yeah, my god, is it? My god, is it? But only as a fun, only as a fun team. Lizards can only be a fun team because you can't win the playoffs. Basically, pretty much can't win the playoffs with with uh, lizard. Man. Is sad, sad but true. Because you will get clawed, as as Ducky proved. Even against Underworld, they just got clawed and lost. And uh, you know, had he won, the Pachovs would have clawed him, and he would have lost probably. Like eventually, you're gonna run into Claw or a good Elf team, and you know, Claw obviously there's more dice involved if Lizard Men against Claw. But um, oh wow, that's brutal! You can't be out of rerolls. Oh god, he was out of rerolls. So yeah, so like that's the thing with them in the playoffs. They're just shit, really. Oh, that's not gonna. Oh, there goes my plan to block him. Okay. Never mind. Got a blitz on him. Go there and then block him. Howdy, howdy. Now he can block him. Yes, he can. Hey, 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 hey. Got a Kaz, the best kind. Yeah, Lizards can win. Obviously, yeah, Lizards can win the playoffs. Obviously, any team can win the playoffs. But, 
you know, I think one J is better. I don't mind using it. Really well. Um, obviously lizards can, but they're they're in a bad spot in the, in the playoffs. Yeah, obviously you can, but it's just you've got to get a nice draw, haven't you? You you basically need a draw where you don't play claw or elves. Uh, you don't play claw or high TB elves, and or you've got to get lucky. You know, like. You don't necessarily lose to the claw teams, and you don't even necessarily lose to the wood elves or elves, but you've got to get lucky against either of them basically to win, which uh, is obviously less than ideal, isn't it? Um, right, let's do this. Hello. Right. Um, yeah, I'm going full in Ari in there, wasn't that scoring in four turns? Um, Alright, I shall be right back. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I know it's a lot more TV efficient, obviously, Sergeant of it, but yeah. Um, he's a lot of TV, isn't he, for the rogue? Right. Yeah. Yeah, Cork and Fails. And they can beat the shit out of elf teams and stuff. Obviously, they need a super skink that can survive a ward as a hit and stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of dice rolls with the claw, and obviously being, being able to manufacture the hits and everything. And a lot of dice rolls. I mean, uh, yes, I don't know if Jelly has got ta got got uh, got audio on, but um, uh, my chaffs played the final of the OFL against Lizardmen. Wow, mine were, mine were five pluses and I got one, and his was six plus against ten men. And I don't know, okay, he's only got ten as well. His was six plus and got two, mine were five plus and I got one. Feels bad, man. Paying all that TV for Fan Factor as well. Um, but yes. Um, yeah, like, they're, they're good. They're, yeah, they're still a monster team. They still have huge strength in guard. And yes, they can. But the, the problem is, you know, Claw Pom. If they can get the hits in, which, you, you know, you really can't stop them getting the hits in. And they get lucky, then you... And not even that lucky. They're going to ruin you, and there's not a lot you can do about it, really, does it? <laughs> yeah, I should do Johnny Five, yeah. Oh. Getting banged on here, I don't know, really, taking two cars already in, in four turns. That's a little bit lucky. Unlucky for me, lucky for him. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing, Lizards, that's why Lizards are so much better at low TV, because at low TV you don't have the mighty blow. You know, even one mighty blow just makes things, just increases the chances of a, of like a death spiral for, for a removal spiral for Lizard now. Because they really are the control team and they rely on having the seven strong guys controlling the pitch. And if they can't do that, they're not. I'm in a lot of trouble. So I feel like this is a pretty unlucky game. I don't feel I do feel like I've been pretty unlucky. Obviously I've got a very lucky matchup because Rookie Chaos, you know, really struggle against lizards. Against lizards against uh they do struggle against lizards, but they really struggle against Gaven, but um I feel like he's been pretty lucky with his removals and stuff.
shit team. <laughs> Go there and blitz him. And just leave them in contact. Hope to get my stun players back next turn. Stop him blitzing with Mighty Blow. I mean, I might break his army if I blitz him, but then I'm just giving him more hits. Run back in front of him. He's the only one that leaves my players free afterwards, isn't he? I guess I could have hit up there. At least the three stuns are back. Wow, this is uh that was rough three stuns and a Kaz. No, they still struggle against Ricky Nurgle, because Ricky Nurgle out strength them. They've got a they've got a, they've got two more strength, haven't they? So yeah, they struggle and they struggle against other rookie chaos, yeah. But they really struggle against Skaven, don't they? Especially Skaven with a Claw Mighty Blow and a Wrestle Strip and a Block Guard Gutter. Yeah, Rookie Cares are bashing than developed ones, yeah. It looks that way, doesn't it? Yeah, this is just really, really good. Lizards are um, lizards are, aren't very good if they've got a bad coach because a bad coach will let you get favourable basings and let you hit their skinks and everything, and you know at, at little or zero positional cost, you know. So it's all like you know if you remember if you remember the Ducky versus Andy Davo playoff game where Ducky gave up a hit on his skink to Pom, which got the Pom out 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 of the way. Like obviously now. It was a jump up pom. So if but if he hadn't been jump up, uh, you know, um, you'd have been out of the game for a few turns just for that risk of hitting the skink. So like that would have, that was a kind of a good tempter um, against non jump up for sure. Uh, but you know, a a bad player would have still exposed that skink, but not in the same place, and it would have been a much better place to blitz him and stuff like that. So I think. No, because he had jump up. <laughs> but if he if he didn't have jump up, a bad player would have still taken that blitz and been pretty screwed because of it. But still, he maybe still still shouldn't have. Maybe he still shouldn't have uh, taken it anyway, as it happened. But because it did, he did obviously then get based by Asaurus, which means that he doesn't want to jump up block Asaurus unless he gets two more guys in. So in the end, he had. It. Dodge away from him, well, leave away from him, fail that, and stuff like that. So, true for any team. Uh, yeah, but I think the lizard, lizards are really, really good. Yeah, what can I do against bad players? 50 50 dodge in. It's all pilling. Doesn't seem like a very good thing to do. I just punch some guys, can't I? Just punching some some people feels better. Could claw this one or claw this one. I think just tagging him. I was thinking I had to follow for all the push, and I didn't roll the push, so I didn't have to follow. But never mind. Fuck it. Brown 
Yeah, there you go, Wolfpack. You played Lizards and removed all his skinks by turn four of the drive because he was shit. Basically, Wolfpack, if you were playing Ducky, you would have not removed all of his skinks by turn four unless you were incredibly, incredibly lucky. So, um, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you leap first, I can. Yeah, but no, I think that's it. I think protecting the skinks is is just so important, isn't it? And controlling the pitch is so important. For I think controlling the pitch, I don't know if Jelly has got audio or not, but I think controlling the pitch is the most important thing with lizard men, is controlling the pitch. And, you know, obviously worse players control the pitch less than other teams. Like Skaven are probably the best for crap players because they can still click the end zone with Skaven can. But yeah, obviously anyone who's crap is going to be worse than anyone who's good. Um, right, what's this? Hello, uh, hello, bloody Greek. Next round match is on Sunday at seventeen hundred GMT. Though I have not, um, I have not discussed it with Senai. So he has offered them, but I haven't accepted yet because I haven't discussed it with Senai yet. Um, but it looks like that's when the next game's going to be. This is one world. Yeah, they, they did one world because they, you know, they're disgusting at low TV. Ceremonial's defensive one turn touchdown. Wow, that's crazy. I did not. I've not seen that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're brilliant for min maxing and stuff, and, and only playing on cottons. Yeah, exactly. But you get a bit banged on with other things. Should be able to surf the ball. Yeah, I don't really know how. But it does look like I should be able to, doesn't it? It does look like... It does look like it should be possible somehow. He can he can block here to get a push to there and then he could be blocked here to get in there, then I could blitz him there with one dice. One dice him to here. Oh no, blitz. I need to fill that spot in there. I need to fill that spot in there. And then that will push him to there. And then he could one dice him to push him to there, and then I could blitz there. But to fill in that spot, it's not easy, is it? So I guess I don't serve. Them. I'm sure it's possible. But yeah, very hard. I could have done it, I just had to roll. I would have just had to roll some dice. I really want to hit him, don't I? That's the problem.
Yes, I could have, I could have knocked him over, but I really, 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 really want to hit that guy. Yeah, the problem was filling in that square. He would have got surfed. He would have got surfed then. But I could have done it, but it just been dodges and shit, which is unlikely, isn't it? Could one dice block here with a reroll? Seems all right. All right, lucky dingo. I don't have a scoring threat, do I? Fuck. Now he's got a hand off a pass play, but fuck it. <laughs> yeah, block guard stand firm and mighty blow. Yeah. Yeah, could have six plus in, it wouldn't even be that unlikely, would it? Six plusing into a minus two D wouldn't even be that bad. Like that's how stupid it is, isn't it? Or f certainly five plusing into a minus two D is, is quite acceptable. Mm. Oh man, these these armor breaks have been making things hard. Jello hasn't got audio, my way was better with Jello. So bad. <laughs> 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 Turn the play up, yeah. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I do like lizard men, but I like them at low TV where they're just ridiculous. I don't really like them at high TV where they come unstuck against a lot of teams. You can maybe score this turn, but obviously if he does, then I get the one turn back. Maybe. Do you think he's going to go for the score? Just needs to push there, go there, block him, needs a power, then he can go one, two. Three, four, five, two, five, two, five. Yeah. yeah, so he powers him and then goes one, two, three, four, five, two, five, two, five. He gets the power. Lucky dingo. One, two, three, four, five, two, five, two, five. To score, or he, he, he could just uh, keep it safe. I'm disappointed that he hasn't failed any blocks because he went down to one reroll pretty quickly. Okay, he failed the GFR. He went around on one reroll pretty quickly and then hasn't failed any two dice blocks since then, which was uh, pretty lucky for him, to be fair. So he's just going to keep it safe. <laughs> you, can't, you can't even dream of doing that. That is absolute fucking suicide if he does that. Yeah, I, I, I had a better, I had a better way, Jelly, but it was like a fucking six plus dodge or five plus dodge. <laughs> wow! Apparently, he's unaware that uh, gutter runners are movement nine. So that's something, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, backyard dodo. Um, your gutter runner. Yep, yeah, he's he's the star of the team now that El Matto's dead. I mean, could I do anything else? Dodge him, sure. Uphill block him to make the dodges through, maybe. Even against rookie chaos, <laughs> he still equalizes and makes loads of removals. I should have just stalled it out and, and 
being 1-0 up at the half because it's just the right thing to do isn't it it's just literally the right strategy is to is to be 1-0 up at half time not maybe get 2-0 up it's just bad bad play by now <laughs> and by me in this case maybe his defence would have been better than my defence though so but it's a bad strategy for me now and not bad play he does play very well but I think it's a, it's, it's a fundamentally flawed strategy um, but you know you could argue that I could have played better or rolled better I mean plus he, he did not fail any blocks he only had one re-roll and he didn't fail any blocks so if you know he could have he could have failed the pickup or he could have failed some blocks ever, and um, he didn't fail any blocks ever. So you know on the other hand maybe it would have worked, but I don't like the strategy, even though I pursued it just because, just because low TV chaos are shit, um, basically. But yeah, Skaven can still collapse against anybody, can't they? And you know he did have one reroll. There was really a good chance of him failing anything ever but he didn't yeah 127 I didn't like him let's not let's not be fash Astro Tor yeah it's a 1 in 27 not worth it not not without my evil up. and not with his score on the line not with him being down one nil down if it was nil nil and it was a really good good runner but it was just a rookie one if it was like an agility five wrestle strip horns dauntless fucking you know a leap movement 10 then sure um but i didn't think it was worth it without tackle or block um or mighty blow i just didn't think it was worth it yeah the mighty blow one yeah, yeah the mighty blow one's worth it but the others no the Mighty Blow one's definitely, definitely a lot closer. Definitely worth, more worth thinking about than the other ones, for sure. Being Fash, uh, Fash Binder, the uh, is is a world famous um, Australian streamer and Indian YouTuber, and uh, <laughs> basically every time somebody rolls any dice in a dice game, he's like complete shit deserves to lose the game because he made that role and uh, you know he's a bit too harsh I think saying this someone deserves to lose because they they chose to make um, you know a dice roll is a bit extreme but you know he made three 1 in 27 blocks which made it about 1 in 9 which he just didn't need to make did he you know he did not need to make these blocks before he scored so if he had if he had failed it would have been his fault whether he deserves to lose for or not to score for making those is a different matter. But um, he, w he would have had no one to blame but himself if he lost because of it. Just like when people do loads of uh, passes for no reason. If they lose, they can't blame the dice. They can blame themselves for making loads of passes they didn't need to do. No. <laughs> yeah, Fash. He's funny. He's funny, but uh, he's... Uh, He's definitely, <laughs> he's definitely interesting chap. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Squirrel did. Yeah, he's extreme. He's very extreme in his in his views. Yeah, you wouldn't know of him because he hasn't streamed in like five years. <laughs> yeah, he got partnered and instantly stopped streaming. <laughs> yeah, he's got a god god tier voice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But then the ball's out here and not easy to get. Yeah, it's made it a bit easier to get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. GFI and then the ball's potentially in a better spot, isn't it? Or double GFI. I'll just go for this dodge. Go on. I don't I don't even care at this point. <laughs> Maybe I should have stood this down first. It's a horrible scatter, isn't it? Hitting this one. Ah. 
Uh, not really what I was looking for there. <laughs> not really what I was looking for. Yes, it was completely horrible. Yeah, the link doesn't work anymore, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, yeah. But both down. Yeah, he's got three dice. Oh, he doesn't get him there. Rerolls it. Guess I've got to use Russell. Now. I mean, I'm being, being a bit stupid now. I think this probably is the last game for the team. Um, uh, yes, crowd six four five two. As Don Nicholas says, he is actually he is actually he is good when he works. He gets he, he gets claw very quickly, so he gets claw mighty blow. He's getting three dice claw mighty blow blitzes really quickly, so he is actually like he's at his best low TV. Um, he is pretty. He is pretty decent. The, the problem is the rest of your team is very expensive, so um, so it, it it gives the rest of your team. If he was on like a human team, it would be great. But um, the fact that he puts you down at two rerolls without block, or he, he takes the place of a warrior, or, like all of those things, is just horrible. It just makes it really hard for him to fit in, to get him in. That is the problem. It makes him. He's hard to fit into the starting roster, rather than bad. Um, and then, but yeah, later on you get claw guys to blitz, and then he's he's worthless then basically. Oh, well, he's still got strength though. You know. Still more strength on the pitch, which is all right. But, um, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm fucked this game. I would say this is a dicing really. He's made four cards with only one mighty blow and uh, only one block player. So I I would I would call this a dicing. Um, personally, but you know, not gonna cry about it. <laughs> I don't want to start a bird team. No. Skulls every time. Good. Maybe I should have stood these two up first for tackle zones. In fact, not maybe. I definitely should have stood these up for tackle zones. I'm standing up now. I mean, I could have dodged out first, but then I would have made the pass harder, so. It would have been good if I'd just got it and run away, wouldn't it? It was a bit unlucky having to use the reroll on the uh, on the hit both times. But. What can you do that? Yeah, it actually did work, Motors Trons, which is what put me in this horrible situation. Had I had I uh, stalled like a good boy, um, it, I would have been one nil up. But instead, I thought I'll try and beat this guy six nil. But I, I know the name, so maybe he's good. Maybe he's actually good at blood bowl. He hasn't done anything really wrong. I guess he's done some the odd the odd thing, a bit suspect maybe, but nothing nothing atrocious. Nothing that makes you think, wow, this guy's terrible. Um, I guess could CC Ellen. So fifty eight, fifty nine percent. So yeah, 
it's a one in three to fail, but I, and I failed them both times I've hit the ball, which is a bit unlucky, isn't it, obviously? Obviously, two times out of three, I wouldn't have had to have done it. So, so to have to re-roll it both times was a bit was a bit unlucky. What's your coach name, KLZE, including caps and everything? You can whisper, you can whisper extra arms, but that's how you do it. It only works for subs, Johnny Five. <laughs> It only works for subs to stop people spamming it all the time, which is what I mean. Oh, bits leader number two. Yeah, that's, that's a new thing, isn't it? This thing. I've, I've never seen that before. Is that? Pretty rough, isn't it? Oh yeah, and there's all three. That's pretty cool, though, isn't it? Weekly top cheers. Ah, oh, very cool. Cheer your way to the top. It's pretty cool. Eleven two three, yeah, that's not bad. Pure little in bit. Eleven two three is very reasonable with dwarves. There's a chance, sure there is. Eleven two two is even more chance. Fifty nine percent is fine, though, isn't it? You know, it's better than most people. He's down to one reroll, but then so am I. But then he's got more. He's in more trouble, isn't he? In terms of, I can just roll some dice and get him. It's probably best to stay where he is, isn't it? Eleven two two is the first one. Uh, yeah, it's alright. Yeah, yeah twenty four four probably going to be enough with most teams. You get play at that point. Difficult, isn't it? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI, GFI to one dice. No recovery. I can put guy there, guy there, and then just blitz him. I was thinking I had claw. I was thinking it was my claw guy, but obviously it isn't my claw guy. Hope to base, base, base. Top dwarves at Astro Tor with like 25, Hope 7 base, or base, base. Like This won't fail. I am on the rig. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, boop, boop. base, base, base. <laughs> it's usually not bad, but he's just not failing any blocks. This is the problem, isn't it? The problem is when your opponent doesn't fail any two dice blocks, um, you get in a bit of trouble. When, when your tactic is hope they fail one in nine blocks. And they just don't. It's, uh, it, it gets very painful. So you could say that the, this amount of cas is my fault, but I think it's still unlucky. I don't think I have mindlessly based. Um, I think I've been a little touch unlucky. 
but nothing worth nothing worth crying about. Does look like it, doesn't it, Carlo Ancelotti? I'm never going to try an Inarian ever again. I'm done with the Inarian bullshit after this game. He has, he has rolled pretty well with his blocks. Pretty well. He's made more. He's, he's made more cars than he has turnovers. Uh, well, one in nines. He's made more cars than he has one in nines. So, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna you're gonna struggle with those games, aren't you? Oh wow! Make an extra dice against uh, against Skaven. A little bit risky. I mean, I can see why he did it, because he thinks, you know, I can only minus three dice in, but I can clearly just double GFR, well, dodge GFR to a pillar. Uh, he could knock him over, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFR, GFR to one dice. But then one dice isn't as good as putting the ball, is it? Kinda need a pal here though to, to just uh yeah, brilliant. See how <laughs> see if he'd rolled this, <laughs> that's kind of what I <laughs> you know, that's what he didn't roll at all and I got two of them, so oh well. I don't care about the loss here anyway, I'll just uh I'll just give up on Skaven after this game and uh and go for a different race. Um but I am gonna go and uh have something to eat right now, so I shall uh, turn off the camera and mute myself while I eat. So don't care if, that's what I'm taking away from this game is yes, don't play like an Aryan. Um but yeah, his dice were hot. Um could just end turns until it ends.
I won't get the one turn because I received. Uh, he re no, he received. Yeah, but it'll still be a two-two, won't it? Yeah, I will get him one turn, but no re-roll. And I've already lost too many players, really. So I don't know. I don't know I'm just gonna eat this dinner now. Aha, now he won in nines. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too late. But, um... I'll try to do these dodges anyway, see what happens. Still got dodge. Double one that.
Yeah, make, making those blocks on turn 16 is way, 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 way worse than making them on turn 8. That's the thing, isn't it? I think turn 8, you've got the payoff for removing them for the second half. And now you're just going for star player points. Um, so I think that's definitely a lot worse. Um, and yeah, he did give it a lot of hits on the ball. And I think on another day I could have beaten him and not taken many cars. I think his dice were pretty good. This is what it is, isn't it? Should probably uh, should probably come Foss soon. Yeah, but even with three dice, I mean, he's just he's only going for star player points, isn't he? <laughs> but yeah, that's it. But that, that's it. That's chaos, isn't it? Like you know, lacking block. Although it's horrible, it's not necessarily. Um, like going to kick in every game, is it? How bad it is. That's why going mighty blow on a killer is absolutely fine. Mighty blow first. You don't know, Haramaya. You used to. Um, <laughs> oh, Valenu. Um, you used to in, in third ed, when it when the game originally came out in 1994. You used to. Um, but they, they, they changed that pretty rapidly because people... People did not like it. <laughs> well, I mean, they've changed loads of rules since since nineteen ninety four. To be fair, but um, but that was one of the first ones to go. Dude, I've got five players. You don't need to think about saying to stop this one turn. <laughs> and in fact, what he's done there is is exactly not what he should have done because I can still win on a well not win score on a riot here. Can I? So um, obviously, just saying up the the riot is the best. Best possible play. You never know. Well, in 1994, it was it was amazingly useful, with Bach because <laughs> Mighty Blow and Pro and Dirty Player all worked on on fouling. So you know. What you used to do? What this is? This is how this is how you used to play humans, right? You go, uh, your blitzer scores two touchdowns in the first game, gets dirty player, right? Because dirty player was insane, and fouling was insane, and then he would just foul, get loads of star player points from fouling, get mighty blow, and because because dirty player was plus two on army, plus two was armor and injury. It wasn't plus one to armor or injury. It was plus two to both. Mighty Blow was plus one to both, but stacked with Dirty Player. So he'd go he'd go Dirty Player first, then he'd get pro so he would have less chance of getting sent off. Or he would go Dirty Mighty Blow for even more brutal ones and he could blitz as well. And then he <laughs> then he'd get the other one. And uh, yeah. It was stupid. It was really, really fucking stupid. Mm. I didn't, I didn't know that was really Never mind. Uh, can now, can I? Ah! Uh, yeah, back in the days, 12 was all like death, yeah. So, he made 15 AV bricks. He, he did make a lot more blocks, but then obviously he had a, he had a huge man advantage, which let him do that. Eight, eight out of fifteen, which is about reasonable. Five was a touch lucky, wasn't it? One in three instead of one in six. But uh, yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? Bit of a dicey, I think. The dodges weren't good, but I did do some three pluses, and even some four pluses. Um, what will be interesting will be his block dice, I think. Which weren't ridiculously good, but they were quite good, I think. Because that's 24. So he, he did lots of non-turnovers, didn't he? Which is the important thing. One, two. Two, one in nines the entire game. It's all right now. Um, <laughs> but... I don't, I don't, I don't want to do the dark elves. I don't, I don't want the, uh, I don't want the old uh, loop pack thing again. Um, all right, let's take guard before uh, before he dies. Right. 
So yeah, I think that's the end of this team now with two losses. Um, yeah. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.